Good afternoon, everyone. Spanish fruit. Is that heat damage or is that ultraviolet radiation damage? 10,000 hectares destroyed by hail. That's 25,000 acres. I don't remember that as a kid. Snow in Turkey, which leads me back to the four months of rain in 90 minutes. And also Japan. Ten times the amount of rain in August this year. And I do explain some of these phenomenon in my interview with David Knight from InfoWars, the full show Thursday, August 29, 2019. Choose your favorite venue to view it. going to bring you over here to start in Spain. A couple of stories. Fruit burned by extreme heat in Spanish region of Aragon. Now look at this and I've had other reports coming from across the planet of burnt skins on fruits, vegetables, and I'm wondering if it's increased ultraviolet radiation. Because it was truly heat, you think everything would be withered, not just the skins of the fruits. You know, the leaves might have a different protective coating on them than what the fruit would. But anyway, it's a global phenomenon what is happening. As well as increased hailstorms decimating orchards across the planet. Spain damage summer fruits, grapes, and peppers. It's still too early to know the exact extent of the damage. Through the first week of September, they'll get a good tally on what was lost. Now, during the same time, over in Italy, impressive hails damaging orchard after orchard after orchard. Now, a quick FYI, this is the third year in a row that we've seen extensive damage in Italy and Spain and over through Croatia into Italy. It seems like a trend now. So when we take a look at the extreme weather and amplified hail events, ripping fruit off the trees after it's grown a full season. I don't know how quickly you can get in there to even turn that into jam, especially let's say you had 5,000 acres of fruit orchards. But this will give you a good indication. Even this small hail right here will still do this much damage to the apples. What they're finding is even pea-sized hail dents it enough to damage and blemish or rip the skin open where then insect pests can get in. So as we march forward, I know not everybody eats fruit. But if you are a fruit eater like myself, if I cannot get something because it's not available in a store, I will switch to something else. Perhaps the same thing that you buy. Again, that butterfly effect of push and pull on the supply and demand. So over here on Horizon Intelligence, talking about the floods in Istanbul. This is about two weeks ago, but the blue pin is perfect for the amplification area. I'm going to call this the center of the center right here for the amplification, right over the Black Sea in Turkey. Right into Greece, over the last couple of years, we've seen exceptional weather fronts, hail events, electrical phenomenon, wind, snows in the wrong season. And again, I, you know, where I'm searching for fruit and I keep coming across snows in August in Turkey. And I thought, well, okay, that's not a lot of snow, but then that's 2019, August 24th. Here we are again, August 31st, right into September 1st, 2018. Heavy summer snow. Shock! Extremely rare. Second year in a row. And then we come in and find these atmospheric compression events. I mean, Turkey is an atmospheric compression event magnet. If you looked over the last five years of extremes in that country, it's getting more along with Italy and the Adriatic Sea than most places across Europe. Case in point of the newest event, four months worth of rain in 90 minutes. Now that's a lot of rain and you can see where the flood is. It went through streets down into the famous Grand Bazaar and flooded so many parts of the city. Streets turning into rivers and then the aftermath there, obviously any lower areas, pedestrian crossings, whatever, filling up, pumping those out. And then we find the same thing over here. Japan hit with biblical amounts of rain. I thought, well, how much is biblical? 10 times the normal amount of rainfall for August. 10 times, 10x the normal. That's incredible. And then it just keeps on rolling. Let's head over to Mexico here. Storms affecting more than 10,000 hectares. And I thought, all right, 10,000 hectares to 12,000 hectares. That's a metric system equivalent. So how much damage is that for fruit production in a single storm? 25 to 28,000 acres. Now, you know, when I was a kid growing up, we never had a storm that damaged 25,000 acres in a single storm dropping hail. Never happened in my lifetime. 
But suddenly this seems to be the norm. And you can see it's from continent to continent, from Asia to Europe to North America. It's going to continue to intensify. The new book I wrote, Climate Revolution, the links in the description box below, talks about the atmospheric changes with the shift in the intertropical convergence zone. And at the same time, you're definitely going to have to start thinking about storing food to add into what will be available in the markets. Now, would you consume this at 100%? No. You'd use it for backup and add in in case there's shortages or extreme food price spikes and availability. So how prepared are you for food emergencies? My Patriot Supply, two-week grab-and-go food crate, or the four-week food supply. And that's only two of the listings on there. They also have water filtration and the Mylar bags and oxygen packs, so you can pack this yourself. Take a look at the link below. Head over to My Patriot Supply and see what you can find for your own individual needs moving forward into this grand solar minimum. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next video.